The Unleashed Tuning RevX Combo will be for the 2015 and newer EcoBoost donors out there. We're looking to go with a premium tuning option and device to improve the performance, the drivability, and the towing of your EcoBoost powered rig. Now, prospective buyers will be receiving two custom tunes from Unleashed along with the SCT RevX device for right around that mid $400 price point. So maybe some of you guys have heard of Unleashed Tuning and maybe some of you haven't, but what I can tell you is that Tori and the crew down at Unleashed have been around for some time now. And while they do offer a number of different services, they really tend to focus in on the EcoBoost world including the Focus ST, the EcoBoost powered Mustang, and of course the F-150 with fantastic results. Now as far as power goes, you can typically expect a few tweaks to the cam and ignition timing along with a few extra pounds of boost over that factory calibration in addition to carrying that boost all the way through the RPM range. Now you should also expect that boost to come on a little bit earlier compared to the factory calibration and finally just massive gains in the torque department as you'll see here with our dyno results. And speaking of power, let's talk about the numbers you might be able to expect on your own 2015 through 2017 3.5 liter EcoBoost rig. We already established a baseline run prior to uploading the tune using our 2017 3.5 EcoBoost here in the shop. Baseline run, basically bone stock on 93 octane. The truck made 305 horsepower and 352 pound-feet of torque to the rear tires. Now at the tune only, we just uploaded the Unleashed 93 octane tune, re-ran the truck, it's making 359 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque again to the rear tires. So tune only, the truck saw some pretty solid gains. In fact, roughly 50 plus horsepower and just over 60 pound-feet of torque. So as any tuned EcoBoost owner will tell you, myself included, tuning these trucks just completely transforms them into a completely different animal. I mean, that much torque and that much power gain over your factory calibration really improves the driving experience and the general performance of these big old heavy trucks. But now that you know a little bit more about what kind of power you can expect when tuning your rig, let's talk a little bit more about the RevX device itself. Now on the surface, the RevX device here will be very similar to the SCT X4 handheld device in regards to basic features and operation, but there is one big exception here, and that is this new cloud-based tuning technology. And what does that mean to you guys? Well, instead of needing a laptop like you did back in the day, your tune will now be available through a tuning cloud per se. Simply connect your device to a Wi-Fi signal, download it, and there you go. It's gonna save you a bunch of emails to and from your tuner, basically kind of streamline the process of receiving your tune and ultimately uploading your tune to your truck. And what better way to show you what the RevX device is all about than to plug it into our 2017 3.5 rig. We'll show you how to upload your tune and then take you for a spin around the device itself. Your installation is gonna get a simple one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter from me, but be sure to hang out till later on in the video as we'll walk you through the tuning process in addition to the device itself. All right guys, so we're in our 3.5 liter EcoBoost truck here. We do have the tuner plugged in, but one thing I do wanna point out that before you bring your tuner out to the truck for the very first time, either connect it to a Wi-Fi signal or connect it to a laptop that's connected to your Wi-Fi. That way you can download the necessary firmware updates for the device itself. Believe me, there's probably gonna be a few you need to download and update before you can actually use this thing. In addition to that, it'll help you download your tunes from the cloud wirelessly or through your laptop. So, once you have the device fully updated and ready to rock, go ahead and bring it into your truck and plug it in like we have now. Now to tune your truck, all you need to do is simply go to the program vehicle tab here, going to ask you a few different questions. We've already taken care of the updates. We've already synced it. Disclaimer. Now it asks us to turn our key on. With a push button start, simply push the button one time without your foot on the brake. It'll turn the truck onto accessory mode. Hit continue. All right, so now it's going to bring you to your program vehicle screen. It'll give you a list of available tunes to upload to your truck. So we do have 93 octane in the tank. We're going to go ahead and select our 93 octane tune. All right, at this point, it's gonna ask you to make additional tune changes if you'd like. Uh, at this point, you can maybe change your gear ratio, you can change your tire size if you've upgraded to a 33 or a 35. 
Uh, we're not going to do any of that right here. We're just going to get right to the tune, so we're going to skip this option. And at this point, it's basically going to ask us to confirm the tune we wish to upload. We have a 93 octane tune, so we're going to select that. And at this point, guys, you're just basically waiting on the tuner to do its thing. It's going to go through a series of different screens. It'll ask you to cycle the key on and off a couple of times. So this is a very important process. You also want to make sure you do not unplug the device during this time, and you do not want to turn your truck off during this time unless prompted. That could lead to some issues, so it's very imperative that you just follow the directions closely on the screen here. So right now it's copying our stock file or our stock calibration to the device itself. This way, if you ever did want to go back to stock, maybe you sell your truck, um, or you just want to go back to the stock calibration, you can do so here easily with the RevX device. Now comes the time where it's actually going to program the truck. Um, just a little disclaimer here, guys, this will take a little bit of time, so if you want to have a cup of coffee in the truck with you, or a little snack, um, it's going to take a few minutes from start to finish to write everything it needs to your truck's PCM. All right, guys, so the tune just wrapped up here. It took about five to six minutes of writing the tune and all that good stuff, but now it's prompting us to turn the key off. So again, push button starter here. We'll just hit the button one time. Turn the key back on. All right, so again, it seems like the tune is wrapped up writing to the processor here. At this point, it's asking us to turn the key to the off position. So we'll hit the button one time. Turn the key back on. And there you have it. After about 10 to 15 minutes or so, uh, the tune is now officially complete. You can start your truck, drive it, do whatever you want. But now that we've shown you how to upload the tune, let me just briefly walk you through the RevX device and some of its features. So we'll go ahead and get out of this. Now, the program vehicle tab, again, that's where you go to upload your tunes, as we've just showed you. I will say the first time you flash your truck, it's gonna take the longest. After that, it's gonna be noticeably quicker to flash your truck. I'd say the gauges and data logging portion here is probably going to be the most used feature with the RevX device. This is the portion where it will allow you to basically view a bunch of different options or vitals of your truck in real time, such as your boost pressure, your intake air temperature, coolant temp, uh, oil pressure, things like that. For config, it's asking us for our gas Ford truck 08 newer, so we'll select that. And here you go. This is our basically your real-time gauges, uh, configurable in a number of different ways. Uh, for instance, this is the most, uh, probably the common screen here. You're getting two uh, values, easily readable at any time, boost in PSI, and the voltage. Now, the nice thing is you can change these to basically whatever you want to. So you go into item, and here's the list of things you can select from. So coolant temp, intake air temp, um, long-term fuel bank stuff, measured AFR, ignition timing, pedal position, RPM. The options are pretty endless here with the SET RevX device. And again, it's fully configurable and changeable depending on what you like. So we'll go back here on this screen. Now vehicle functions, this is where you're gonna go to read your check engine lights if you have any. You can also obviously clear those check engine lights. All right, so here are some special vehicle functions that it will allow you to do. Uh, cam or keep alive memory reset. Uh, basically, it's essentially the same thing as unhooking the negative terminal from your battery. Crank relearn, TPMS, and your tire size and axle ratio. All very valuable things because, listen, truck guys a lot of times like to change your tire size, so it's easy to recalibrate your speedo using the RevX device here, and it's one of the nice features to point out. All right, here's your vehicle info tab. Again, it's gonna spit out things like your VIN, Here's your COM, your strategy code for the PCM. We'll go ahead and exit out of that. Device info, pretty simple stuff. It's gonna give you the serial number of the RevX or BDX device. Things that you probably won't use all that much in reality. But this is device settings, this is pretty nice. You can check for updates here, you can sync the device to the cloud. Um, you can upload a data log to the cloud, so if your tuner asks for a data log, you can do that through the device here, and then update it wirelessly if you are connected. Other things such as display brightness, pretty straightforward here. You can have it dim or brighten up as you see fit. The display orientation is pretty cool. Portrait is what we're in now. It's basically straight up and down. Landscape mode will basically allow you to turn it on its side, get a different readout if you'd like there. 
theme, dark red is kind of what it defaults to, but you have some different color options, as you can see. Might be a little easier to read for some of you guys, going with the light blue, light red. But personally, for now, we'll stick to the dark. Power management mode is auto. Basically, it's going to turn on or power on every time you basically turn your key on. Audio, you can just turn the beeps on and off if you like. Startup function is pretty cool. This way, you can actually have it default to the gauges and data logging rather than the main menu. So if you leave your device in the truck at all times and you're basically just using it to check out what your boost pressure is, intake air temp, things like that, have it default to the gauges and data logging. It'll just save you a few steps when you start your truck up. So that's pretty much it, guys. We showed you how to tune your truck through the program vehicle tab. We've showed you the gauges and data logging, some of the vehicle functions and the device info and settings itself. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this brief little video on the Unleashed RevX device here from americantrucks.com. If you have any more questions, feel free to check out the product page at any time. And for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.